Hey guys, it's full moon time. Um, if you've ever been one of my clients, you would know that um, parasites are one of my pet loves in the sense that I find them absolutely fascinating. Um, they, it's, it's one of my, my pet loves. Um, it's not really a lot more that I could say about that. You know, I do ask my clients that if they happen to uh, release some parasites that they take photos and send them to me. Uh, and I've got a number of my clients doing a full moon parasite cleanse at the moment, which is really exciting. It's not fun. It's um, quite challenging in some ways. You do a lot of pooping um, and so on. But the results are awesome and we've seen some amazing results from them doing it. Uh, so I thought I would come in here and quickly talk about parasites because I love them and they fascinate me. Um, when we think of parasites, we tend to always think about the negative things about parasites that you know that they're bad and that we need to get rid of them and all of that sort of stuff but there are reasons that they are around and when we start to look at those reasons hi Kirsten when we start to look at the reason why the parasites are there we can actually deal with them far more effectively than just trying to get rid of them and so I've seen it time and time again where um, clients have gone and had a stool test done and they've found that they've got a parasite and then their practicing physician or their naturopath or health health treatment plan whoever they've got working that they're working with um, provides them with some ways to get rid of those parasites so they'll do like a parasite cleanse or they'll give them some herbs that eradicate parasites and then what they end up what ends up happening happens for them sometimes is that they get sicker and generally they get sicker is because that the parasites were doing some sort of role or function for them uh, parasites are specifically really good at helping us manage and deal with our heavy metal toxicity. So if you have high heavy metal um, toxicity and um, you get rid of your parasites, you're getting rid of some of the, so you're getting rid of them being able to deal with those effectively. Hi Kelly. And so there's a relationship when it comes to parasites. So when a client comes to me and they know that they've got parasites, my first obligation to them is actually to try and figure out why. What are the reasons that the parasites are there? Is it because they've been to Bali and they've drunken some water and they've been contaminated by some foreign um, parasite that we don't have here in Australia or is really rare here in Australia? And that's definitely can happen. Is it otherwise because, you know, there's heavy metal toxicity or there's something else going on in the body that needs, um, that those parasites are helping to support? And if that's the case, then the goal then is to actually help get rid of why they're there in the first place. And when we start to do that, when we start to treat why they're there and we ask that question, why are the parasites there? How can we fix that problem? The parasites, more often than not, go on their own. Um, for some patients, we do then need to actually do a parasite cleanse, which is what some of my um, GAPS clients are doing at the moment. They're doing a parasite cleanse because that will give us a good amount of parasites gone in a very quick time. Because during the full moon, the parasites come from all over the body and they essentially have an orgy in your gut. They come together, they have a party, they get, they, you know, mate and then they lay their eggs and then after the full moon they go back off and they do their things. So the full moon is a really awesome time to actually try and get rid of a heap of them at once because you're getting more bang for your buck. So whatever it is that you're putting in there, you're able to kill off more of them because they're all there at the same time and you're able to kill them off in um, all of the different stages that they're in. So adulthood, juvenile, and or you can't necessarily do the eggs but you're trying to catch them before they lay their eggs. Uh, and that's the goal of doing a parasite cleanse around the full moon. And so I'm looking forward to all the photos that I'm going to be getting over the next couple of days. Some of them are going to be pretty grotesque because they'll be covered in poo and all sorts of things. But this is, I get a little bit excited because I get to add to my parasite collection photo, photo gallery. So yeah, you're laughing at me. I know because it's actually so, so interesting to me. But people find that crazy. And I'm sure if anybody picked up my phone, especially around full moon period, they would think I'm some sort of freako because I'm getting lots of photos of parasites and people's poos and all of that sort of stuff. But it's, it's amazing. And I love how there is this symbiotic relationship between the body and the microbiome and the parasites in the world and our heavy metals and all of this stuff that's going on. I find it extremely, really, extremely fascinating. Um, and I love what I do. So if you think you've got parasites, now's a good time to start dealing with them.
some of the signs that you know that your kids have got parasites in particular is they've got a really itchy bottom. Uh, and that's a big one, especially right now around full moon, their bottom can be keeping them awake because it's irritating them. Their behavior can start to go up. This is when you're also going to see things like bedwetting occur more often, night walking, ter sleep terrors, night terrors, uh, hot sweats, you know, where kids are sweating or even adults sweating so much that their bed is getting covered in sweat pretty much. Um, all of those are signs that there is parasitic behavior going on at the moment and it's interfering with the nervous system. So if you're experiencing some of those symptoms, you're more than welcome to message me and we can set up a time to talk about it. Um, but happy parasite season, full moon. All right. Bye for now, guys.